And here we have a Linux mini desktop. Hi. Hey, Hi. how's it going? How's it going here in Las Vegas, CES That's 2024? Right. CES 2024, Happy New Year. So what are you showing here? Is this the revolution of Linux mini computers? So Nicholas, you know, Linux has been around in a long time. But one of the things that we've really been lacking is kind of a productized Linux. So Linux out of the box, that's fully productized. And we're really hoping with this uh, XRPC range that we can actually achieve this, right? So we, obviously with our phones, uh, Gemini, the Cosmo Communicator, and the Astro Slide, we tried to productize and create a brand around Planet, Planet Computers uh, for phones. But now we're looking to also build um, in terms of both PCs, network appliances, and eventually servers uh, that, are, that are productized, right? So if you're looking at ARM-enabled uh, computing, think of ARM, originally, the original ARM business plan was actually built around the chip, it was going to just run network appliances. Uh, eventually, it pretty much is running in all mobile phones. But the original plan was actually network appliances. So we built a box that could be quite an interesting network appliance, but also doubles up as a Linux out-of-the-box PC. So this is it. Uh, it's the XRPC range. There are two systems, XR1 and XR2. Uh, the key thing is, it's basically a, like, a, like a mini desktop, but it has a screen on, 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 on the unit, right? So let, let me go, uh, so it has quite a lot of interfaces, but if you look at the beginning, like it actually has a screen, right? So a multiple display output, the, the one that you can have outside? So you can have, three, one... yeah, you can have three, this, three screens outside, one 8K and two 4K. You can also have a 4K input to record video over HDMI. Uh, but the, the really unique thing is that there is a screen uh, on the actual device, right? Now, what does this mean? If you're running it as a network appliance, it can actually tell you what's going on. I'll show you a couple of examples later. But if it's a PC, you can have some common functions, right? Like switching on and off Bluetooth, like switching on and off Wi-Fi, like turning on relay, turning on VPN, uh, like setting your uh, Wi-Fi password without like using anything else. So this can be running software, and you're just using this small screen to either do some control or to do some settings or to see what's happening. So here's an example. Okay, so saying, are we connected to the internet at the moment? No, we're not. Okay, but if we were to connect, this would go green. Okay, or for example, how much processing power is my PC using at the moment? How much memory is being used? How much network disk? So we can kind of scroll into those settings and see what's actually happening on the interface, right? So this is kind of interesting in terms of you know you have that control, as, w as well as uh, just soft keys for certain functions. So for example, I want to start a Linux shell or I want to start a browser, or I want to take a screenshot, or I want to mute or unmute my microphone, or just simple volume control, um, things like that, media control, and just copy-paste for your, for your screens, right? So basically, there's quite a lot. And then you have some LEDs, which can either give you a status of the device, or it can just be a nice, colorful display. Um, there's a lot of interfaces on the back, as you can see here. Uh, we can go through, but here you have like a 4K video in, 8K video out, 4K video out. Then there's also USB-C uh, video out if you want. How fast the Ethernet? So Ethernet's a gigabit, giggy, uh, two, two ports, so you can do network filtering. You can actually do, um, this can act as a kind of hub and a, and a router at the same time for your IP traffic, even a firewall, right? What does so, the Type-C do over here? So that can either connect to uh, a, a, a PC, or uh, it can actually be a, a video output as well, as well as a, a standard USB. It doesn't charge the device, huh? No, it's only this. no, the charge is through the phone. And there's an optical out also? Uh, so there's some, there's some... Uh, optical audio? That, no, that's not, that's not uh, optical. There's a, there's, a, there's a memory card here, and that's ah, a power switch. Power, power switch. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what's the target market? 
So the, the target market is uh, anybody who wants to have Linux out of the box. So for example, an enterprise that wants to have Linux out of the box. Um, the other target market is telecoms for smart customer premises equipment. And then smart, the sorry? smart CPEs. So CPE stands for customer premises equipment. So small things that are given to you by the telecom operator that can either be a firewall or a little web server, e-commerce server. So sort of four business customers, smart customer premises equipment that's sitting there given to you by the telecom operator, right? The third uh, target market are, and maybe the biggest, is the B2B market, which is basically somebody wants to launch a fully decentralized network appliance service. So decentralized storage, decentralized AI, uh, decentralized databases, decentralized anything essentially. Right? What would it be best to do decentralized like this? Um, so our, our customer uh, hyper appliance is uh, decentralizing AI. I think that decentralized storage is a very, very exciting opportunity which we are looking at. Uh, so being able to both host somebody else's data, but also store your own data and replicate it in other places. So that will be quite an interesting market. Uh, decentralized databases, decentralized storage, any kind of information that needs to be saved in multiple places to be safe, it's an interesting, it's an interesting uh, situation. When I look at uh, giant companies like Lenovo, HP, uh, uh, and the others, I'm disappointed that these guys are not prioritizing Linux they're doing it half-baked. Uh, they kind of like uh, letting people do what they want on the side. It's even hard sometimes to buy stuff without the Windows license. And it's been going on for decades, this thing. It's, it is, there's such a huge opportunity to just spend a little bit of effort, maybe Planet Computers could be one of those, to just make sure maybe some, of, some apps are just really working good on Linux, especially ARM-powered Linux. Uh, to give a little bit, bit of a challenge to this Mac OS on ARM, which is excellent, but uh, and Windows is you know s slowly trying to do something, but maybe th there's such a huge opportunity right here. I think. Yeah, I think you know the, the, there's there's, there's going to be some changes and maybe room for some more ecosystems, and Linux is here to stay. A lot of other systems already using Linux as maybe strip down Linux, but Linux as a basis, so Android uses Linux as, as its base. Uh, but we'll see Linux coming in more as it gets more productized. Now, we started doing that with this product. I mean, literally, you know, this is the box, and you get the, you get the, uh, the computer in this box, right? This is a very, very tidy package. Um, that's really nice, and we designed the box as well, and the whole wrapper so that it, uh, it, it really kind of shows the, the device and its, and its power, right? And uh, it's a really nice uh, product. Uh, and, and, and literally, that's how you kind of productize it, put it together, right? So the other thing that we're showing today is a 20 terabyte, okay, you, can, you continue? Yeah, yeah the, the other thing we're showing today is a 20 terabyte solid state disk. So this is on our uh, XR1 unit. There's actually 20 terabytes of solid state that allows this to be like a really mega home server for storage, right? Now, I don't know how many files people have, but you know, you put all your disks together, maybe you'll, you'll get a few of your PCs, all, all your data together, and you might still not reach 20 terabytes, but it's un unless you have huge video libraries. How does it work, this solid state drive? So we have, uh, basically it's composed of Five terabyte, five four terabyte um, platters, M2 SATAs, M2 that are put SATAs. yeah, which are put together. So that that, that gets you that's good five times four is twenty. But so, uh, usually hard drives are different. So it's not hard, solid state. Solid state, so it's not. It's actually memory, like. S are you talking SSD. about SSD? SSD. SSD. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, twenty terabyte is. Is open on the market, people can just buy it? Yeah, this is now available, yes. So 20 terabyte SATA, SATA three and a half inch enclosure SATA, uh, SATA disk. And uh, 
This is uh, available on our website. How now. much does it cost to have 23 uh, bikes like this? About $1,300, so $12.99. $12 I don't $12 know what the exchange rate, but roughly. Right. Is yeah. there any chance the SSDs in 20 terabytes are going to get cheaper than the hard drives? Uh, they might get cheaper. Uh, the key thing is to put as much um, density so that you can get a SSD terabyte that is, you know, 20 terabyte in a three and a half inch enclosure. So you can get that. Now we're making it. Uh, it's kind of an interesting, uh, interesting thing. If you have a lot of data, or if you need a lot of space, even temporary space. So. You know, even just CCD images, this thing of CCTV, how much space, if you really want to record CCTV and analyze it, how, how, many, how, mu how many days do you want to keep? Right. A lot of data. It's a lot. I need a couple of those hard drive, uh, yeah. SSDs. So do uh, I. How about, the, how about the, how is it going with Astro? So with Astro, you know, we ran into some problems uh, during Corona, so the, our ODM in China uh, was forced to sell and they sold to a state company. And we haven't managed to resolve the relationship despite having quite a lot of discussions and um, quite a lot of funds and assets still tied up with the ODM. So we're still trying to do that, and, uh, but it's taking a long time. And uh, hopefully we'll get some of it resolved during the next few months, and then we'll 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 see what we, what the next steps are. But uh, we're very committed to that product, and also to the phone products in general. You have it there, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. The this is the Astro. You know, the Astro is uh, progressing quite well also on the patent side. So yeah. we hope that we'll get some patents granted on the mechanism. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's a lovely phone. And we want to make more of it, and as as soon as we can. Uh, uh, I think it's amazing that uh, you know, in this huge CES with ten thousand exhibitors and uh, and trillions of, of invested in Apple and all these companies, that uh, you are the you are the guys. This, this, I don't know how many that are trying to make smartphones pro for productivity. Yeah. So now you know. The Canadians uh, gave up. There's a movie about it now. Yes, it gave up there like is. A years ago. There is, um, you know, it's there's a kind of ecosystem forming, which is going to be based on Linux, and we hope that our phones can play a part in that, and uh, also the whole decentralized computing uh, paradigm now is coming to reality. So you like see a lot also? more of that. Ah, this is a lovely phone. This is the yeah. Cosmo communicator, yeah. and uh, we. We've been. Uh, yeah, it's it's one, a, it's one awesome. of my favorites. And when you close it, yeah, I, I, you know, uh, I'm just a YouTuber, right? But I would like to see uh, the some of these hundred billion dollar companies, like the guys that own BlackBerry now, that uh, or somebody, you know, like uh, come and do a big investment in this this platform. Yeah. It should be like the, yeah. it we, needs to be the funds behind to make mass production. It needs to be like in the millions yes. of devices. And yes. it should just be out there in the stores and let the consumers choose. So this is, this is the way we want to go now. Look for a sizable investment to create this uh, new ecosystem, which has phones, PCs, network appliances, decentralized services as the basis. That's where we're going. All right.